Hello, my name is Anne, and uh, Happy New Year for all of you uh, on tw in 2018. And uh, I hope you guys have uh, a great New Year with tons of happiness, and um, uh, you can and you will get uh, a lot of presents, gifts from friends and families. Uh, anyway, today uh, I'm going to do a speed test uh, between two uh, undoubtedly the, m the most popular mid-range processors right now uh, the Exynos 7870 on the Galaxy J7 um, and the Snapdragon 625 which we know on tons of phones these days already it's gonna, so I'm going to use a phone that is a little bit unpopular uh, I'm not going to tell the name but uh, you want to tell you uh, anyway uh, Let's take a look at the specs of these processors. Okay, as you can see. So as you can see here, uh, we have the Exynos 7870 on this phone. Uh, we have 8 cores, Cortex A53 cores, clock at 1.6 gigahertz. And uh, it is also based on 14 nanometer process. Um, and all that stuff, you know, eight, eight CPUs uh, using a Mali T830 uh, GPU. And I'll show you this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 edition. Um, we all the specs over here, and it's running on Android 7.0. On this phone, it's a, it's a new phone, uh, so I'm going to uh, talk a little bit more. This is the Snapdragon 625. Um, with also with, core, with 8 cores, uh, Cortex A with 3 cores, clock at 2 gigahertz, uh, also 14 nanometers, and it has a, a, a GPU Adreno 506. Uh, it is the B phone 2017, and it's running on Android 7.1.2. So I'm going to do the speed test between these two processors to see which one is faster. And uh, actually, it's a little bit different because I'm not going to include uh, multitasking here uh, because um, I'm, not, I'm not comparing two phones, uh, and I'm comparing two processors. But um, I'm actually going to include it anyway because uh, you guys want to see uh, this between two phones. This is a $500 phone, this is $250. Um, but uh, you know, if you want more tasking, I can still do that for you. Um, I will still include it in the speed test. Um, but the main thing is the processor, uh, which I'm going to do the speed test here. Um, but anyway, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's get started.
So that is the speed test. So as you can see from uh, that speed test, you can see that the um, uh, this phone uh, does take a slight edge at the speed. Um, but generally, uh, both the both process actu processors actually uh, perform about the same, even in the rendering that I just did. Um, it uh, the B phone came in around three minute and fifty, uh, well three minute and forty eight. Well, this one came around 3 minutes 50, which is only a 2-3 seconds difference. Uh, it's a bit of a tie. But in the multitasking round, it's a clear win for the for this phone here, as it still has all the apps in memories except for Crossy Road. Well, this one, uh, well, this one only uh, keeps the Adobe Premiere Clip, Drive, and Stacks uh, in memory while reloading all of the rest. Uh, that kind of uh, came in as a very disappointing 5 minute 15 seconds. Um, but uh, nevertheless, I would say that both phones still performs really well. Uh, six, the Snapdragon 625 and Exynos 7870 uh, does the fantastic job um, in performing, loading games, rendering videos. They do work really, really well. Uh, so thumbs up if you like this video. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.